about is something that has been so, not complex, but something that's been just uh, in my mind for the longest time. And I'm like, what does this mean? What does this life is a journey mean? Like, I cannot tell you how many times I heard that. And how many times I'm like, I hate when people say that. Life is not a journey. Life is a destination. You get to something and then you're happy, or you get to something and then you go for more. It's just a series of destinations. And I've been hearing that from ye for years. And then Eleanor Roosevelt came out, or she didn't come out with a quote, but she, I saw a quote that she said one time, and it was just, it was so brilliant. It was just a, a simile to life is a journey. So what she was saying is that throughout every age that you go through, when you're younger, you go through this age of exploration and finding yourself, and then you go to high school, and then you start developing yourself, and you get your, your path ready and then you go to college and then you're like okay now it's time to graduate and then when you graduate you get and then society tells you you got to get married by 30 and then you got to have 2.3 kids and you got to live in a house forever and then you got to retire at 65 70 and then you die at 85 and that's your life and what she was saying in the quote is that the destination ironically is the last station and the last station, she didn't say it, the last station is actually you leaving Earth, is dying. And the journey is like a train landing at the destination or the last stop. And along the way, she said, look out the window. See who else is on your train car. See what else is fun and exciting and, and how you can get involved in. And maybe there's there's stops along the way before you finally get to your final destination that you can hop off like marriage or kids and enjoy that. Because she said ultimately everyone has a final destination, which is death. And it's amazing when you think of it that, that way. And that really put a lot of things into context. Number one is I recently just got injured really seriously. It sidelined me on this couch for over a week and I was pissed to say the least. I was PO'd. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. And then out of nowhere, that quote came into my mind and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna eat better. I'm gonna drink more water. I'm gonna consistently exercise. My lifestyle changed so dramatically because I was laid up on this couch for a week. And then I thought about it, I'm like, this is part of my journey. And actually, this is a good part of my journey because I'm eating so much better, I'm more energetic, I'm more positive than I was before. And I'm more, I'm more of a go-getter. So it really got me thinking is that anything bad is actually part of the journey. As corny as it sounds, it's part of the journey of your final destination. And I always thought the final destination is when I make a million dollars, when I have this really nice apartment in New York City, when I start my own company, when I go out and I travel the world, that's my destination. Well, you know what? I did it. I did that. I have a nice apartment in New York City. I started my own company. I haven't made a million dollars, but I did pretty well financially. And you know what? There's another destination. So as Eleanor Roosevelt said, is that that's not a destination. That's just a stop along the way. A stop along the way is positive as in getting a nice apartment in New York City. But then a stop along the way is also being laid up on your couch and now completely changing your way of life because of that. It was, it was, I'm a healthy guy, I'm 30 years old, I'm very active, I just came back from a ridiculous two hour hockey game, and I have tons of energy. I thought I was healthy, but you know what? I was secretly healthy, I was secretly having donuts and, and eating processed sugar and processed, not really processed food, just processed sugar, like sweets and cookies and donuts, and that's what got me sick. And it's got me so sick that it laid me up for a week. And then I just said, it was so painful and it was such a, just a, a, a whole experience that I said, this is never gonna happen to me again. I am changing my lifestyle. And that's when I really, got, I really felt blessed and grateful that it happened to me. 
And it really gets you to appreciate your health a lot more, especially at age 30, which is incredible. The other thing is when something, ha here's another point, uh, f failure and fear, okay? This is an amazing point that I'm about to make is that I have a fear, I have a big fear of approaching girls that I don't know when I'm not in like a bar scene or not or I should say and I also have a fear of calling people for business yet I need both in my life I need relationships with women in my life I need business for my business in my life or I would be broke and I would die completely lonely lonely with cats and I need both yet I have this fear so then I went back to the quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. I have to find this. I'll hopefully find it. And if I find it, it's down below in the description. But what I noticed is that, listen, I'm going to hit my head and I'm going to be rejected by girls, by clients, by people I don't know. But that's part of the journey, the long journey. If I feel that I'm, I'm going to approach one girl at Starbucks as I'm getting coffee. I think she's cute, so I'm going to approach, and then I get rejected, and that's it. It's like, well, no, you, 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 that's not really going the journey. That's really just looking out the window and then looking back. That's like, should I, should I get off at this station and be committed to finding yourself a girlfriend, finding business for your business, uh, upgrading your relationships, male and female in my life. That's another goal that I'm going to be doing this year. It's like, no, you're committed to this. Do it. It's part of the journey of where you want to go. And it's, I guess it's really hard to explain. I hope you get it because it's important. So with the fear, I look at it and I'm like, why am I fearful of calling people for business? Why am I fearful of asking a girl out on a date or asking for a number. Oh, it's rejection. But then I'm going to be rejected so many other times on this journey of life with the final destination being death. And it's like, it's a little blip. It's just a little blip. It's just a little blip. That's really all it is. So I, I can sort of, I hope that makes sense, but I could sort of also say is that when you look at it and you, and uh, this is crazy, but if you look at it from third point of view and you look at it, all you're doing is trying to get to know someone who also wants to potentially get to know you. In other words, a girl, uh, business, they, they potentially want to do business with you. So it's stupid if I don't ask for business, and like I said, it's all part of the journey. I know it sounds corny. For years I struggled with this. And finally I understand there's no destination. Destination is death. That's it. There's no like once I reach a million dollars, once I get married, once I live in a nice apartment, once I go traveling, once I buy the next iPhone, then there's going to be another iPhone. Then there's going to be another goal you're going to want. So really look at that iPhone, that relationship, that everything is just part of this story, this, this, this uh, electric, enthusiastic journey or activity we call life. So I hope this broke down a little bit about objectively looking at your fears. Number two is that you're going to face rejection and it's all part of the journey. Like, or when something bad happens, it's all part of the journey as well. It's like, sorry, but yeah, it's part of the journey. It's There's no destination. That's what I'm getting to. There is, but unfortunately it's death and nobody wants to get there. There's different stops along the way like marriage and da -da, and, and I'm saying this sarcastically because uh, that's what society wants you to do. But I hope this helped. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I also have another YouTube channel. All the links are below. The other YouTube channel are, are vlogs of me traveling and throughout the day in New York City and things like that. I'm going to be adding to that consistently. And the third social media network that I absolutely love is Instagram. All the links are below. Follow me on that. I hope you guys have an awesome day. If you have any questions, just leave in the comments below. And as always, and as Tony Robbins says, live.